Hello, everybody. Oh, wow. It feels like ages since I've done one of these and I'm so excited. In fact, couldn't be more excited to bring you this story. It's called Mystery of the Missing Acorn. And you can imagine what it's all about, but I'm just going to give you a sneaky peek of something. And I'm going to be in trouble with Mel Eaton for this one. But this is a book that she has created and it is full of of the storytelling. Now, I've, I said it was a sneaky peek, so I do have to put that to one side because that's something that's coming up later. But I've got to share this collection with you. And thank you for joining me here at highlightcrafts.com because this is where not only have we got the most amazing educational academy, but we also get to inspire you and bring you fabulous products. So if you haven't joined us before, this is what it's all about. So I have got here a collection, a story, a chapter. This is what they look like and it's the first time that you'll have seen this brand new die packaging and um, it's a set of metallic di or metal dies that allow us to create cut out shapes so in fact before I just get into that I'm just going to explain this to you so each of these packets contains a set of dies in it when you and this is our new packaging we've gone plastic free I'm so excited about that for you um, so this is what happens you get a, a die and it tells you on the front there's a little picture of what's included it tells you the size of the largest die cuts it tells you how many dies there's 10 dies in here 10 die cuts and then of course you've got the nested acorn which is the name of it and complimentary printable artwork that's available from highlightcrafts.com so if I open it up this is what you're going to find inside. You're going to find that set of dies. Now, each one of these has got a blade on it. And the, where I'm rubbing my finger is the blade. Um, because of they're so cleverly designed, it doesn't cut until you pass it through a die cutting machine when it then cuts into the paper. So that slides back in there. You've now got a perfect storage wallet to keep these all together. And you could be putting a piece of ribbon through all of the tags so that you keep one collection together. Maybe one of those big um, rings that you can get, you could put those on. So many different ways of us being able to store these now. And this collection includes all of these. So we've got, first of all, we've got our acorns, which you, in fact, let me show you them like this. It's much easier. So we've got our nested acorn. We've got our mischievous gathering. So you're getting a full gathering of all these characters. And this actually includes um, six die cuts. So you're getting those there. And then we've got eight die cuts in the squirrel gathering. We've also got the acorn blooms. We've got the shining bright, which is 10 die cuts and all the jewellery. We've got our bejeweled Merlin and Millie, our little magpies. And then we've got hiding place. We've also got our spring bounty. Then we have got stocking up. We've got the great escape. And we've got Squirlock Holmes. And Squirlock Holmes is finished off by the mighty oak leaf because, of course, we're going to be using those in our designs. So let's take a look at what this means. Now, these are not necessarily in the same order that you've just been viewing them, but it gives you the overall idea. This is a set and a collection of using all of the designs. And I'm going to ask my lovely producer, Andrew, if he can just do us one shot from the front so that you can see this card, because this to me epitomizes everything of this amazing collection. And look at what you can be creating. I absolutely love what Kath has done with this. She's used a whole collection of dies. You can see how she's used the acorns to actually um, be part of where Merlin and his partner are laying, lining up all the jewels. Squirrel Combs is there looking for what Millie and Merlin are up to. She's trying to find the jewellery and the acorns. And you've got all of them there in this fantastic three-dimensional card. It's the kind of thing that you're going to be able to create.
So I'm just passing that to one side. So here is Squirlock Holmes. This is him as he is with the outline die, of course. And he's here looking at one of the pieces of jewellery, examining it to see if it actually is part of what he's looking for. Because in fact, it's missing acorns that are the problem. So this is one of those fabulous printable sheets. You take the die that you want to cut out and you literally place it over the image and cut that out through your die cutting machine. So it actually couldn't be any simpler. Then we have got our second design and this one is um, our little stocking up and our little squirrel is running off with all the acorns in a trolley. He's trying to get away as quickly as he possibly can could be one of the culprits, or perhaps he's just a go-between, who knows? And there is the um, reflections for that. And let me also show you that you've got the front and the back. So that actually is gonna be really useful. The next one that we've got is one of my personal favorites because this would be great for a fitness fan, but it's also called Spring Bounty. So here he's actually managed to capture some of those acorns, dug them up, and is carrying them as if they are his swag across there. And we've actually decoupaged that up to give you some dimension. Now you can see why we fell in love with this collection because this for mom, this for me, this is like um, the helicopter police because <laughs> they are literally, it's called the great escape. So we've got the acorn with the rotors of the top of the acorn or actually acorn leaves. I just, when I sketched this out and sent it to Max, I think he thought we were crazy, but it is so clever. I'm thrilled with the way it's resulted in this fantastic die. Next one we've got for you is all of that jewellery. So this is called Shining Bright. Now imagine it layered on top and literally over the top of that oak leaf. It looks clever. It looks bright. It's storytelling. But every one of these jewels and gems, these could be just little gems that you use to actually accent parts of your design. Maybe you might want to put some glaze or um, one of our Cadence products on here to get a little bit of a shimmer, a little bit of glitter perhaps. There are so many different options. And of course, you have got that downloadable decorative artwork for you. And the next one is our Acon Blooms. Now, the Acon Blooms lend itself perfectly to dimension, to layering up those patterns, getting in your decoupage so that you can see the depth to it. And if I lift it just a tiny bit, that one die translates into this beautiful collection. Just by snipping into it, the pieces that have been cut to add to the layers have then been added at the back to make it and extend the design. And we've now got our little, um, here we've got our one for sorrow, two for joy. These are the magpies, but in fact, they're called um, Merlin and Millie. And Merlin and Millie are already bejeweled with all of the finery that they've managed to get their hands on. But they also are still looking to see what all the fuss is about. They've heard there's a lot of noise in the forest at the moment. And they do have that double-sided reflection that we absolutely love. Now, the next one we've got for you is our hiding place. But it doesn't have to be our little mouse in here. You could be putting one of the other characters in. Perhaps it might be a little magpie that's just peeking out. But that one is perfect. Again, another one for decoupaging. And alongside having, and this is a, just a nice little reminder for me to tell you, you get normal reflections and you get the reverse reflections. And then our acorn. Now our acorn comes in lots of different sizes. This size I know you're going to use a lot. And when you see all of these together, these card shapes look fantastic. So I'm going to suggest that this die might have a lot of use. And think about this. Maybe if you just literally snip into it, looking at that, it's actually, we've got little baskets, haven't we? So there's, again, another use for that. 
Then our acorn leaves. Acorn leaves are going to be the color, the mighty oak. Now, we will be bringing these to you in different colors throughout the seasons. But right now, of course, this lovely, bright, spread, fresh spring green is perfect for all of our designs. I'm thinking we might need to bring out some little ladybirds to have on here. That could be fun, couldn't it? And how about when we start to look at the gatherings? Bringing you all six of these designs on one gathering. And this is our mischievous gathering. Then the next one that I've got for you also includes the double-sided. But then we've got our squirrel gathering. And there you get Squirlock Holmes, Squir Squirlock Holmes in two different sizes. So you've seen all the different dies. And I'm now going to share some inspiration because it's the inspiration that really, really brings this together. So let's take a look at these. Oh, gosh, where do we even start with this? Because this is one of the backgrounds from a previous collection. Um, from the from this collection, sorry, it's in the downloads. So it's um, from the downloads. So onto highlightcrafts.com. Then you've got our two little magpies. Now, hidden amongst all the foliage, Squirlock is actually looking around trying to see what he can find. He's not been very successful because they're up in the trees. And um, he actually is supposed to be looking for acorns. So let's take him into this environment where there are trillions of acorns. And look at how cleverly all of those jewels have been put inside the acorn. And then I love this one. Look at the jewels hanging over the shopping basket in his pocket round his neck. I'm just going to lift this up so you can see in a bit more detail. So we've got jewels in his pocket, jewels round his neck, jewels actually hanging out of the basket. We have got our, um, our squirrel. Great escape up in the sky with another little bunch of acorns. Hope he doesn't drop those. And then this scattering of acorns that our, our detective is just starting to look around. But he's got to hurry because our little bunny here, our little squirrel, is on his way. Bunny, there you go. Bunnies, I've got bunnies in there as well, in trouble now as well. Um, he's actually already on his way. And then this is another great way of doing a card using a piece of construction acetate. So it hangs over the front and you've got that little squirrel up in the sky. So all of the detail here, if I move this out of the way, you've got the magpies, you've got our little mouse in here, you've got all the little squirrels behind. It's almost like every time you look at this, you see something different. That's how clever this collection is. And it's beautifully colourful. Now, this is one where you can build your own design, place just a few of the die cuts, and it still looks great. Tell your own story. So our squirrel is actually throwing down the jewels to be caught in the trolley. Um, they're literally stocking up. And now, oh, Squirlock has come into the actual, this is the hidey hole, he's underground. He's caught them, he's found out what they've got. Who knows what's going to happen next? Da, da, da. And we've got one more for you. How much fun is this? Having the acetate aperture at the front and the picture over the back. So you get to see the whole story and that interactive element. So that, of course, is where the story starts. However, there's more. Because included in this collection is a USB. A download, I beg your pardon. A download. Oh, my goodness me. Um, should we stop recording? No, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, but I do need to correct myself. It is a download. And you are going to get all of these beautiful elements that you can do Minecraft Studio or your SVG cutting with. So first of all, designing your own backgrounds. Oh my gosh, these are stunning. 
there are going to be videos on this as well. Just want to share with you some of the things that you can be creating using these elements. And then I'm just going to literally give you a taste of something completely different. And that could be done using Minecraft Studio because of course Minecraft Studio gives you so much versatility to be able to play with the backgrounds that you've got. And when you then get onto working with the scan and cut files, you can get really clever about the way that you can work with them, the apertures that you can cut, the shapes that you can create, the way that you can layer things. So you're looking at a combination of the elements from Minecraft Studio, isn't that clever? And also, the scan and cut elements. Um, the lovely Diane's going to come and she will take you through it step by step with myself. And I'm sure she'll put me right where I've created <laughs> the element of doubt. But the element of doubt is what is keeping Squirlock very busy. So we have got some dies for a demonstration. And I'd just like to share with you just a nice little demo. Um, the the lovely Squirlock, Squirlock, well, I wish I could do that accent, Squirlock Holmes, you know, um, like um, Sean Connery, yeah, I want, I'd like him to do the voiceover, oh my gosh, oh, so right, um, is he alive or is he dead, do we know, oh my gosh, no, he is, isn't he? Oh, perhaps you'll email us and tell us. Email us at um, Highlight Crafts. Oh, apparently he died in 2020. Oh, well, I'll have to have a word with Terry and see if he can get him to come back and do something for us. Um, oh, because you imagine having Sherlock Holmes and the story of the, the missing acorns. So um, I've got a lovely background here. And this is actually from the download. And the nice thing is that you can then bring in the elements. So this one's already been decoupaged. Just literally two layers. That's all it's taken um, to be able to get that little bit of depth and make it stand away from the actual image. And then here is our little squirrelock. And um, again, two of those and our little mouse hiding in the acorn. Now I'm going to lay him over here. Um, our little squirrel is literally mentioning to him that the that Sherlock's on his way. So you need to keep your head down, get in there, don't say anything. Um, but I want to show you how to do the decoupage elements. So let's move that out of the way. And it is as simple as this. When we are decoupaging, we want to take away the elements that are furthest from our line of sight. So his little tail would be the obvious place to start. And you just run the scissors round the little pips to take out those elements like that. So that's the first one. I would take out this little foot that's the one at the back. And I would also take away his arm that is also at the back. So we've got those three pieces that have been taken away. When you now just lay this onto the card and you see those two pieces together and we take our little squirrel and place him over the top, you can see just by the little bit of shadow that's being created, how it looks so much more dimensional. So if you wanted to add another layer I would be tempted to take this bit of his coat all the way round to the collar and include his arm and put that on. And I'd also take his hat and his head and put that on. And that would be your next layer. Okay, so let's put our card back together and we're just gonna look at a couple of other options for you. So there's our little, thanks, there. Right now, We've got lots of other um, acorns and I'm just going to take that and that and place those down. So they are going to be the start of this part of the story. Now, I've got big acorns. These aren't by any way the largest, 
but they are lovely and big. So we're going to start here. We're going to layer up one and we're just going to make it so they look like the acorns are just fallen. So they've literally just fallen like this. But they have almost created a little stage for the, our characters to play out this little scene that we've got. So we're going to need our magpies. So we're going to take just a couple of magpies. Now we've got one for sorrow, two for gold, three for a secret never to be told. So we're going to have three little magpies in this story. So that's our first three. Then we're going to go into... <gasps> Uh, one for silver, two for gold, three for a secret never to be sold, four for... Hmm, don't know the rest of the rhyme, so we're only having this many. Right, now, a little squirrel, he's having a chat. He's actually warning him that there could be a problem on the horizon because, and he's, he's literally, that everybody's gathered around listening because they are... And he's telling the magpies to get the stash and stash it because there is a lot going on at the moment and there's a good chance that they're all going to get, they're all going to get um, told off and caught. Um, let's see if we can get this rhyme to you. So it's one for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl and four for a boy. Five for silver, six for gold, and sevens for a secret never to be told. Wow, they've definitely raided an emerald shop. Right, so we've got one for silver, one for silver, two for gold. Oh, one for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl, four for a boy. So um, how many's for silver? Right, so... One, two, three, four, five. Yay! Look, oh, I love that. Absolutely love it, having all the little magpies there. Right now, it looks great, but I think it would look even more fun if we put that on a background. So let's take the background. I'm not going to put the green on. I'm going to leave it without the green, and I'm just going to slide this. Oh, that was a good idea. That slide didn't work at all. So let's rebuild from scratch. So if you get a design that you absolutely love and you want to recreate it, then the best thing to do is to take a picture of it on your phone. So, um, and in fact, I'm going to take that one away because I think it's too big. I love these because you can have them in any direction and they look great there and there. So We've got that, and I'm making sure that the top of that acorn is touching this one, so it actually is meant to be there. Right, you can go there, and you can go there. I'm going to put you up on the top of that little bit of an acorn. I should have another, I'm going to need another magpie up in the trees. So one, two, three, four, five. Right, this one giving out little treats. And that one's going to be on the top of that acorn. So there's five of them there. And then our little, we'll move you out. And our little squirrel has come to tell them the bad news that they need to hide their stash because Squirlock is on his way. And the chances are that he could, just because he can't find the acorns, use this as a chance to actually be able to go back to the station and let his boss know that he's managed to capture some fugitives. So, and you can see, I, I love making up stories. Um, that's so much fun. And the light that's on these acorns makes it look so, so clever. Okay, so let's do one more. And 
I'm just going to share um, an idea with you of something that you could be doing. So first of all, um, we've got our two acorns here. And let's suggest that we might want to do a couple of smaller cards. So for this one, we're just going to fold it in half like that. So the tip of the acorn touches the top of it. And that is then going to need another score line across there. Let's see if that's going to be high enough. Yeah, I think so. So we're going to go just halfway across the back of the cup that the little acorn sits in. And that line needs to be parallel with that line. So that one's going to stick to the top. That is then going to be the easel. And that one is going to go on to the top there. So you've got a little easel acorn. Underneath, inside, is going to be all the treasure. So that's where you're going to find the gems. So we'll put some of those. These are all going to be piled up in here. And you'll only see them when you pull this back. So you can see the gems will be there. And we'll put our little magpie in amongst them. So the little magpie will be just there. So that's where they're going to be. So you can see them. And then what we'll need to do is make sure that when we do this, we bring the little um, stopper that we need right down to here. Now, you do get some tiny acorns. So these lend themselves perfectly for little tiny stoppers. So if I just move that up all up a bit so you can see it. So there's a little tiny stopper. When we lift this acorn up, you can see there he is. There's our, our little magpie. And if I then hold this all together, this is where our square lock can be sitting while he's looking for the acorns. And what he doesn't know is that the acorns are long gone. They actually, he's a day too late, but he isn't because the magpies have got the crown jewels and they're hiding inside. Just another little idea for you. And guys, you know, I know some of you are sitting at home thinking she's probably lost her marbles. But, you know, isn't crafting all about being in a happy place? And if happy places mean that you like telling stories or you even love having that few minutes where you just go into your own little world, this collection is 100% is there for you. And I think it's one of our cleverest, cutest, um, most fun. But also, it's a great one to send to lots of lovely people. So, do you know, missing you cards, good luck finding the jewels, good luck on your driving test, all those kinds of things. These are great good luck cards. They're great moving home cards. They're good cards for all of those other occasions. So, don't miss out on it. And there's nothing better than sending a card just because. Enjoy the collection. Don't forget to visit highlightcrafts.com to be able to get all of those lovely downloads. And, um, um, I look forward to you watching Diane and I when we talk you through some more of the collection. If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notifications of all of our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.